What's up guys and welcome to Jules the Engineer. In this channel we are going to take you through my process of becoming an electrical engineer. This is going to be my first video. I am unboxing this life, this Tackle Life um, power generator, DC power generator. It's my first actual lab product. Now I know this isn't <clears throat> class related or anything like that but I have been wanting to tinker with my own equipment and this is going to be the first step for the things that I want to do. Eventually I want to get the whole getup, oscilloscope, different types of multimeters, whatever it is that I need. But I feel like DC power generator is the first thing that, that I could have gotten that would have helped me gone the furthest for what I am trying to do. So here we go. Tackle Life Power Generator. I bought this on Amazon for 67, 68 bucks. I thought it was pretty cheap. Spent like hours and hours doing reviews and this is the one that I thought was the most bang for your buck. All right, so in the box, it comes with your leads. Here is your power cord. And here we have our uh, power generator Please excuse the outside noise. I am still trying to make this work my My lab is still in the process of being made and as, as of now I just have to deal with this So when you first open up the uh, power generator you see it wrapped in a bag, uh, nothing crazy, pretty standard styrofoam. Uh, I would say it's good protection in terms of the way that it comes wrapped in. Now we have this uh, interface right here. So here is a push, uh, push fine and coarse interface. So that means it's uh, supposedly uh, in order to make it go from coarse to fine, I gotta just push it. Um, positive, negative, and ground, which is pretty cool. And then here we have your output. So let's plug it in and see how it goes. And then in the back, you see that you have your um, on and off switch, a fan, and your uh, input, your DC or AC input. So let's go ahead and plug this baby in. I'm gonna plug it into my multimeter. It's a very tiny multimeter that I have, but it is a very, um, what would you call, efficient, tiny little guy. All right, let's power it on. So, first thing you might notice is uh, it has voltage control and amp control. So, I think that's pretty good. Um, here we have the I'm, I'm assuming this is the fine control right here. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You can feel the clicks every time you turn it. Uh, and every time you turn one click, it seems to move uh, one tenth of a voltage, or sorry, a hundredth of a voltage. And then here we have the course control. Uh, and as you can see, every time you move it once, it moves one voltage, or maybe half a voltage. I think I need two clicks for one voltage on some of them. All right, so here we go, zero voltage. And then let's go for the amps. Amps is about the same. You can feel the clicks and every time you move it, uh, you're only moving uh, 100 milliamps. Now let me go into this one. Oh, here we go. This is the fine uh, mode. And as you can see, once you push it, you can see the number that is blinking. That That's how you know whether it's the fine or the course. So right now I'm in the fine and yep at one milliamp every time you uh, do one click. So that's pretty cool and one thing that you'll notice right here as well is that there is an output button so what this does is once you're ready to plug in your uh, unit to whatever thing you're trying to power up you can go ahead and press this output button and as you can see it's gonna light up so that's pretty cool uh, constant voltage constant current uh, so once you have this plugged into a 
a load, you will probably have a light on. So I think that's pretty cool. Currently, we're sitting at zero, zero, um, which is pretty cool. This is that the leads are pretty hefty. Uh, when you push it in here, uh, there is some friction, so you know that they're not gonna come off that easily. You kind of have to give it some pull before it comes out. So I think that's pretty good to have uh, a good grip in your leads and it's all color coded. So pretty easy uh, to just look and go. All right, so now that we have this plugged in, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the multimeter. All right. What we're gonna do is we're going to connect our leads to the multimeter and see how this little baby reacts. Let's just go all the way up to one volt and see how that reads. So pretty close. We have uh, 0.988 to 1.01. So, I mean, it's pretty close. Now we have two volts to 1.981, not bad. Now let's bring it up to three volts. Three volts, and now we have 2.99 volts to 2.979 volts. So again, not, not bad. Now let's bring it up to four volts, and it, it doesn't shoot straight up to four volts, which is interesting to me. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to go, but uh, there we go. 3.98 volts, pretty good. I think that's actually pretty spot on. Now, let me go ahead and attach a project. Now, now I want you to know this project is still under construction. So uh, if it looks bare bones or unfinished, I'm just testing out the motor. Pretty small, um, it's a pretty small motor. It's actually a DC motor. I don't know if you can see it right there, right here. That's how small the little motor is. And it is pulled together by a pulley, rubber band pulley system, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just leave it at three volts for now. And we're gonna max out the current at um, one amp. It probably won't, it probably won't draw that much. One amp is definitely more than it's gonna draw. So it's gonna be a safe spot. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So as you can see, um, the motor is running constantly. Uh, the only reason that this isn't turning the way it's supposed to is because there is some friction going on here that I need to work on. But other than that, uh, it's running pretty fine and you can see here the amount of current that it's pulling. So this is pretty good in terms of if you're trying to calculate things for future circuits or whatever. Um, I, th I think that's pretty cool. So three volts, uh, let me just try to limit the current to let's say 150 milliamps. Let's see if I can and if it affects my motor. Oh, it's slowing down. It's, see now it's slow to the point where it doesn't really move. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, let me just unlimit it again, 400 milliamps. I am pretty happy with this Tech Live DC power generator. It's definitely gonna be enough for my uses right now. I am only working on small projects. Um, so yeah, this is just my first impressions. Uh, soon I will be starting to develop my lab a lot more and I'm gonna show you guys the process along the way. Right now, I just have the bare essentials. Uh, I have an Arduino, I have my power generator, and a couple of small kits, uh, wannabe soldiering gun, and other stuff of the sort. So, uh, I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna be showing you guys my first project, and I will also give you an update of maybe like a month of using this thing to see how good it works. Uh, I also have ones at school, so I will be able to compare it, this one to the one at school and whatnot. So uh, if you guys like this video, uh, stay tuned for more videos like this. Uh, press like, please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And see you guys in the next time. Later.